Were you wearing a parachute in A26? Yeah, we did wear parachutes. Uh, they were the standard backpack parachutes of World War II. <clears throat> uh, and I think we were probably the only fighter aircraft in Vietnam that was flying without an ejection seat. I'm just thinking about that. Now, what about the canopy? It, did, it doesn't open that far. No, the uh, canopy is a clamshell <clears throat> canopy, and it... Uh, we would wear our parachute strapped in, obviously, and then if, if we in a situation where we had to bail out, uh, we would pull a lever, which released the clamshell canopies, and you push, and the canopies would blow off on either side. So you could release it, the entire canopy and right, just throw it off. This one lever would release uh, both canopies, and so both sides would be open. You got that one strip of metal down the, the middle there. And then, theoretically, we were supposed to unstrap from the, the seat stand up in our seat and then dive over the, the uh, wing. And you, the deal was to dive for the trailing edge of the wing so that the airflow would take you down so that you didn't hit the tail as it came by. Now, I always told Gus that uh, if we ever end up in a situation like that because we weren't sure if you could clear the tail, that I was gonna let him go first. And if I heard him thunk on the tail, then I would try and find a place to figure out how to land the airplane, but I wasn't gonna do it. He didn't really, really like that, but uh, <laughs> he was a navigator. That's the way it was.